questions, your beliefs, and your biases uh, to adopt your practice accordingly. So thinking about that this module was centered around self and what steps we are taking within ourselves to address our, our biases that show up in our practice um, and how how you can apply that to the strategies that you learned about today. So just wondering kind of what a takeaway is or maybe something that you're going to try to use in the next weeks. Um, just thinking about our own group, we talked about like how biases might show up in classroom discussions and some steps so that we can take to just balance like who is talking and how much and things like that. So what is just one takeaway um, that you had today or a way that you will specifically uh, try to reflect on your cultural lens or biases in your practice? Feel free to unmute or shout in the chat. Well, it's kind of a big question, so I'll give you a little think time. Um, I can share. Thanks, Adrian. Um, I, th I think I'm going to continue. I was working with um, Callie doing, um, having students, like the my higher end students doing their own videos to teach the other students and uploading that into like the Google Classroom. We were working on making apps and... Um, I think that was a really good idea. Um, so I think I'm going to try and do that more. I love that. Sounds like shifting away from like a, a less teacher centered classroom, right? Yeah. So, um, and uh, we also had the kids, like I taught them the lesson and then we taught one using a slide deck and Google, Google slides with them, the like self-directed learning and they were much more successful doing that. Very cool. So. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going to read out our chat here too. Uh, Stacy shared that she wants to be very intentional about lesson planning and trying to incorporate different cultural lenses. Thank you for sharing that. Sam shares that she thought um, to have a thought partner and keep ourselves in check. Thank you for that. David says, I enjoy having conversations with my colleagues about lessons, ideas, and practices. So I think just bringing in new ideas, right? Checking our own kind of habitual thinking, right? Things, the problem with bias is that sometimes we're just not aware of what we're doing, right? Um, that's awesome. Shout out to Kaylee for sure. It sounds like cool discussion you guys were having. Rad. I'll just wait a couple more seconds, see if anyone else wants to share out. I think we have a few more people here. Um, but yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed this PL and this PDU. Um, I know our team has put a lot of work into it, and we've, but we have, I think, all really enjoyed it as well. So it's, um, yeah, six one. We're all finishing up the year, starting to anyway. All right. So, oh, thanks, Don. Just going to read this last message. Not sure, but do you want to work on reflecting and adapting your practices with your eighth grade class? They're not progressing as well as some others. So again, like just that awareness, right? The awareness that you bring to your classroom, and being intentional and deliberate. So I appreciate. You're sharing out anyway. Thanks, Don. All right, I'm going to pass off to Drea to finish up the day. All right, so we just have a couple of things in our wrap up. Um, this first closing reminder slide is for every participant, and then I'm going to go into some PDU uh, specific participant stuff. So, for everybody, please make sure that you complete the sign in survey. Uh, somebody's Luke's got that dropped in the chat right now. Thank you. Um, so please make sure that you complete that so that you get credit in the learning space for being at today's session. All of our session materials and recordings can be found on the Schoology page for Module 6. That's also hyperlinked in that slide deck. Um, give us about a week for that to all be up and ready to go. Um, and also, this is module six, it was our last module, but you can take this PLPDU cohorted series again next year if you would like, just because we have so many strategy options, you can definitely uh, dig into some of the strategies that you did not choose the first time around. So we really hope to see a lot of you again next year. Uh, if you are just in the PL series, make sure to get that sign-in survey and you are good to go. PDU participants, uh, just a couple more reminders. Make sure that you complete that reflection discussion that you just did in the chat in Schoology. I've got that uh, reflection prompt hyperlinked at that Schoology link there. Uh, just remember that you should be finishing up your deep dives at this point. So if you feel nervous about where you are with your deep dives, you 
you know, need a little bit more support or assistance, please reach out to your digital coach um, and they'll be able to walk you through what your best steps are gonna be um, and making sure that you get all of that tidied up by your final portfolio presentation. Speaking of that, um, everybody should have gotten the final portfolio presentation email last week before spring break. So if you did not get that email, it has a bunch of important information about that final portfolio. Uh, please just drop your name in the chat and I will make sure that you get that information. Remember, this is just for PDU participants. So if you're just a PL participant, you do not need to worry about this at all. Um, but that final portfolio, make sure that you're using that slide deck template. We have gone through um, picked apart the the rubric that the like PDU team has us evaluate on and put that into slide deck form. If you complete all of those slides, you're going to pass this PDU. So make sure that you complete all those slides, don't delete any, and just include as many pictures and videos and samples of student work as you possibly can in those. Um, if you did not sign up to present before break, make sure that you do that. Um, got the link there. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I'm going to stay on for a couple of minutes. Uh, you can ask away. If you are thinking like, there's no way I'm going to finish this, or I still have two deep dives to do and I'm feeling really behind, again, reach out to your coach just to talk about what options are best for you, how you could pause and pick up next year, or how we can like chug this out and get this done um, by the end of the year. But that is a conversation to have with your coach for sure. So if you have any questions related to PDU completion, that deep dive final portfolio, um, ask away right now. I'm here to answer all of your burning questions. Otherwise, make sure that you fill out that sign-in sheet, you complete that reflection discussion, um, and have an awesome rest of your day.